What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Dev. Actually, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Drunk Dev. Tipsy Dev, actually. We talking about Ice Spice, how we love Ice Spice. I ain't gonna lie, she has a subtle ass voice, and for some reason, I love Ice Spice. Like, I love you. Ice Spice, I love you. Just wanna let you know that. You know the you know the Riz, the Rizzly Bears. I know y'all gotta watch that dude on TikTok, the Reels, the Rizzly team. He need to sign me up because I will definitely Riz Ice Spice up. I will not I will take my opportunity for what it is. I'm taking my opportunity. Ice Spice. If you see this, I'm dead ass. I'm from Miami, but I'm dead ass. All right. Anyways, um, Drake has dropped for all the dogs scary hours edition. All right. Now, a lot of people are saying this is from scary hours. Uh, actually, it is. Look, it's showing like it's it's basically added on to skit to to um to for all the dogs. Fat D, as some of y'all would call it. Um, Magnum man, tiny Magnum season. Thank you for the T one sub man. Four more subs for anything Friday. But a lot of y'all would say that um. You know, for all the dogs, man, we're going to do a re-listen with the subs. I have not done that yet. Don't forget. I thought I didn't forget about you guys. We definitely going to do a re-listen about uh, for all the dogs because I got a lot of say shit about that shit. Hey, I don't know about y'all niggas, bro, bro. That Polar Opposites and that Drew of Picasso. <laughs> oh, my God. Big boy, man. Thank you for the 100 bits, man. Wayne and 2 chains dropped together. Ooh, that's tight. That's tight. But we got six more tracks. So they're, they're saying that this is an extended deluxe edition of Fat D. But they're saying it's basically a Scary Hours 3. But just added, I would say it's more of a business move. But we could actually count this as Scary Hours edition. Right? Or Scary Hours 3. Um, a lot of y'all saying it's really good. Y'all have already listened to it and shit. Y'all already saying it's fire and shit. Um, you know, y'all want to let that shit ride for a little bit? Oh my god, bro. Nigga, I'd be motherfucking crying to this shit, dog. Like, this part right here, if y'all never been through this, dog, like, embarrassing, I want to die. Let's put my ass in Gryffindor. People flew over the album because even myself, bro, that's that, that polar opposites. And that Drew of Picasso, that's peak R&B Drake right there. I ain't have, I've not heard an R&B Drake track like that in forever. I, that shit, I ain't gonna lie, not forever. But that shit was going crazy, bro. And that Polar Opposites, that nigga said, man, Leon, you broke my way. Still breathing, plenty other ways to get over people. You ain't had to step on me to gain food. Tripping, bro. There's some fucking bangers in this album, bro. There's some bangers in that bitch. Like, for real. We need how many more subs? Two more subs for anything Friday. And I'm going to drink this bitch. We're going to get fucked up tonight, nigga. One more sub. And then we going to get drunk. But yeah, man. But the new album is called Scary Hours 3, man. Let's just listen to it, man. First track. <laughs> Death of Dev. First track. So if y'all don't know how anything Friday works, every time, every time an album is fucking good, a song is good. Then we take a shot. All right? That's how it works. Hey, Song is bad. I get to skip. And I'm, I don't lie. I ain't gonna bitch out. I'm gonna be real with y'all. Y'all got the 60 subs. I appreciate it. Next thing, I gotta make that shit 100. Because if Chibino wasn't here, he would have crushed it anyway. So shout out to Chibino if you're not here. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that shit crazy. Track one, red button. Look. The most decorated, competition decimated. My drive is dedicated, your drive is designated. Niggas got you to the spot. Trying to see it be inside my circle like I'm getting graded. Man, be in my circle like we getting graded. I ain't gonna lie, I don't really understand that because I was straight A ass nigga. Alright? No, for real, for real. If it, in the Asian family, if you gotta if you gotta be, then you would get on punishment for the whole summer. And then you would really not be able to go outside for the whole summer. So I had to get straight A's. Like, I was forced. I was an honor student. I took Calc 2. Like, I was, I'm dead ass. Like, I'm not even lying. Like, <laughs> but, yeah, what the fuck? That's, that's a fire bar. Like, that's a fire ass bar. No, I really did. I was, I was in school for engineering, guys, before I became a YouTuber. And then I was like, I can't be a cubicle guy. I, I'm too entertaining. And that's not just a Henny talking. I'm for real. Like, I'm, I'm not lying. Every time a Yeezy car, the truth, he had my head in. You said do some math, nigga? Okay, hold on. Me... 
plus your mama equals I'm your daddy. Now go to the gulag, nigga. Hold on. Let's send this nigga to the gulag, nigga. Hold on. Time out. How about how's that math for you, bitch? All right. Everybody having gated. Press this red button, dog, and everything forever changes. Word of M dollars, she the only one could maybe save it. So crazy, bro, because everybody in that group chat has a red button, right? I've always said this, man. If you have a big group of friends, we all have a red button. And maybe there is a lot of I, I do believe that there's a lot of stuff that Drake could say. And I do believe there's a lot of stuff that Kanye could say, right? Rewind 20 seconds. I'm going to go back. But, I, but I'm just going back to the Drake, to, 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 the, to like explaining about like the red button because he did say that. I know at least that. And it's crazy because when you think about it, everybody has a nuke button. I always say never talk about somebody's kids. Never talk about somebody's mama. Never about talk about somebody's wife. These are lines you don't step in the group chat. I don't care how fueled the end. Because at the end of the day, it'd be like, you could go through some shit, right? And be like, have a heavy ass argument. Like, you ugly as hell, nigga, boy. You, 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 hey, boy, you long head ass motherfucker, bro. Hey, that's why your shirt big as hell, boy. You got a big shirt, motherfucker. You know, so you, you can say crazy shit like that. But as soon as you be like, oh, you feel impressed? Like, oh, that's how you feel? Nigga, that's why I fucked your wife, bitch. You sound crazy? That's, that sounds crazy. That sounds crazy. Oh, <laughs> never do my dog like that. But I like, yo, that's why I fucked your wife 12 years ago. <laughs> That's how you get shot. <laughs> then there's no longer like the group got to get together. Everybody got to get in a circle. And then you got to fight to the death. <laughs> like you got to fight to the death. That is crazy. That's the red button. That's literally the red button. I bet everything premeditated. Everyone was good with me then. Everyone expression faded. Taking time bomb and they begging me to detonate it. See, there it goes right there. So my line, like, right there, that was the Yeezy disc, but he literally just said exactly what I said. Steve's man, thank you for the T1 sub, man. Happy 40 months. My God. That's exactly what I'm saying, though, like, right there. When you talk about that line, like, there's lines you just don't step. Like, if you're ever in a group chat, I don't care if it's fantasy football. I don't care if a nigga just busted three threes on your head, five threes on your head, no matter what. Dude, you just don't, you don't cross lines. You don't say, I fucked your moms. You don't say, I fucked... Uh, your wife 12 years ago, you don't say some crazy shit. I stole $25,000 from you type shit. Like, nah, there's lines that just have to be like that just don't get stepped on no matter how heated the argument is. We call that in our group chat, the nuke button. We got so many flicks in the group chat that literally at some point, like, yo, you want to get, you want to get saucy? Right, let me grab my phone right quick. Send the motherfucking air. Let me send the motherfucking nuke off right now. Since you want to get saucy. It never gets to that point because we're definitely mature. But I'm just saying for you younger motherfuckers, all right? It can get real crazy. And I can only imagine what y'all do. Y'all shooting motherfuckers in plain sight nowadays. I can only imagine that y'all pressing that nuke button in the group chat. No thoughts. Literally, no thoughts. I will fucking double cross you niggas like it's meditation. I'll give you a hard pill to swallow. This your meditation. I'll start double crossing you niggas like it's meditation. <laughs> That's funny as fuck. That's actually funny. Niggas fucking call me up the cap. It's not a graduation. I will fucking put your ass on pause like I'm past the Mason. I will set alarms off and cause a whole. How y'all feel about how y'all feel about that first track? I know a lot of y'all said y'all missed the rap and Drake, and that's what the drag yet Drake the Drac. The Drake y'all want. That Drac is literally Drake not born yet, nigga, because a Drac is basically a little egg. Anyways, how y'all feel about that? That's, that's fire, too. I love the beat. I the, ah, ah, like, I love that shit. He definitely gave a Kanye nod right there and basically saying, look, I'm going to push the red button. Push the damn button. Shout out to Sue Young. But I'm telling you right now, man, like, there's a lot of shit that they can't say on the public, on the public level. And I do believe that Drake maybe have done something to, you know, his ex-wife. But between Ye and, and Drake, I believe that there's a lot of shit between the two of them. And if they did release it, it'd be scary as fuck. Like, it'd be, no pun intended, scary as fuck. It'd be scary hours. Unless you really fucked his wife. Hey, yo, you're crazy. I should see you to the gulag just for saying that. We one for one. Oh, yeah, fuck. Goddamn. No, we gotta change the rules. <laughs> There be onliners talking shit every time I get on GTA Online, and it's funny as fuck. I just be listening. Listen, I'm kind, I'm kind of tipsy right now, but what the fuck that got to do with anything? I feel like Big Worm right now. Like, what the fuck that got to do with me, nigga? I appreciate hundred bits, nigga. But what the fuck that got to do with me? Nigga? What? 
Hey, big boy, I love you, dog. I do love you. But what are you talking about right now? Next track is an ad. Ad senses. Ad senses. It's time to elevate your everyday drive. The Dimmit Automotive Group has been a leader in lifestyle automotive for nearly 100 years, and we've Ad built senses. generations of loyal customers. Isn't it time you experience the Dimmit? Ad senses. Visit today to see our wide selection. Tell you, man, my superpower. Ad senses, bro. In Clearwater, St. Pete, bro. Sassa, and you know what nigga said? Yo, nigga, nigga was like, nigga was like, yo, imagine your superpower is sensing ads. Why does it always take three tries to plug in the USB? <laughs> nigga really hold me. He hold me. He's like, yo, imagine your superpower is sensing ads, nigga. <laughs> Dev is not earth, water, or fire, but ads. <laughs> earth, wind, fire, ad. Ad bender. <laughs> the ad bender is crazy. All right, track two, strike. Stories about my brother. Look. This is the decompress before the intermission. Done a lot of post game talking, but this one different. I told y'all wanted rap Drake. Y'all wanted rap Drake. Here he is, motherfucker. Now shut the fuck up. You wanted rap Drake. Here he is, motherfucker. Talk your shit, Drizzy. Like they sent permission. Imagine us getting our validation from an ex musician searching for recognition. Joe Dis. And you know what's crazy about Joe? I love Joe Budden. I, I watch Joe Budden all the time. I personally, I'm a favorite fan of Flip, and I and, and um, not Ice, the other dude, light skin dude. I I love both of them. They funny as hell. But like, Joe gonna be like, I'm glad he did this. Hell yeah, this is what we want. You know, what I'm saying? like, it's cra it's a no win with Joe. All right, as much as I love Joe and I support Joe, it's a it's it's no win with Joe. All right, like there's just. They're just ish. Yeah, there's no way to win with Joe. All right, but that's, 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 he's shouting. Top of the mountain, these niggas still down at base camp. They planning their expedition. Damn. Y'all the type to catch a charge, head to the deposition, and act like the rest of the day. Head to the same position. Lint roller. My brother an aim botter. I bought him a Range Rover. My brother a flamethrower. It's like he playing. Damn, he an aim botter? We don't need, oh, look, you need, we need, especially on CSGO. And we need the, the, the aim bars to get the fuck up out of here, yo. We don't like cheaters, nigga. I love I this beat. Enough about me. Oh my God. Conductor. Let me tell you about my brother, though. Boys do the shooting on the web, you Spider-Man. I don't even like Spider-Man, but damn. Y'all niggas was playing some Spider-Man heavy, though, on that PS5 when it came out. You got some Spider-Man ass niggas. His iron is up, and if you keep eyeing me down, trust me, his iron is up. Your last album was buns, you niggas Hawaiian as fuck. Niggas so down bad, they make... Hey, man, them Hawaiian buns go crazy. For Publix, I can tell my nigga Drake been in Florida. He been, he been, to, he been to Publix. Cause them Hawaiian buns at Publix, bro, are fucking elite. You get the the spicy, crispy chicken, the spicy ones, cause the spicy ones never available at Publix. You gotta get, catch them on a good day, and then you get them Hawaiian roll buns, bro, and then you put the chicken in. There. Oh lord, I'm gonna get that tomorrow. That shit crazy. That shit sound good as hell. Right? Ain't not Kobe Bryant to us at all. Damn. And if them hoes really love you, then them hoes they lying to us. They say they if them hoes really love you, then they lying to us. That's such a dog ass statement if you really think about it. Like, he's saying, wait, so Hassan, you saying that girl saying she love you? Cause that's crazy. Cause as she was sucking my motherfucking cock, she looked me in my eyes and said, Me, I'm me, papi. I love you. Me, amor. That's crazy. <laughs> Cause so she, I guess she lying to me. Cause she told you that, so she must be lying to me. Like, must be. <laughs> she must be. Cause there's just, it's just conflicting stories here, you know. <laughs> all the carrying calls, boy, I'm on top of the cake, just like some caramel sauce. Fuck all the settling down. These boys married and lost. Fuck all the settling down. These boys married and lost. See, the one thing I will say that I don't agree with, like me, man, I'm, I'm definitely a lost boy. I will say it like that. I'm definitely lost. Um. You know, marriage is at an all-time high in terms of divorce rate ever that has ever been. And especially with social media now, no one wants to get locked down because there's always – there's options for everybody, all right? Everybody has options, all right? And so it's kind of scary when you really think about it 
because the direction that we headed is everybody about to be single as fuck. Like, for real, for real, everybody either going to be single or polymogamous. All right, that's literally what it's going to be. It's getting scary out here. Scary hours for sure. I think... I think my problem is, I'm going to say, like, there's a couple people I know that I'm not going to throw no names out there, but, you know, if the shoe fit, then rock that shit. But, like, I know a couple people in the past month that got married that was a capital W wildin'. For the wildin'. And, again, I'm not no snitch in that department. <laughs> I'm not no snitch. But, like, it be looking at it from the outside, and it's like, damn, this nigga got no idea. Your girl's a hoe. <laughs> oh, man, your girl is a It's crazy to me, bro. Like, I just be looking from the outside, and like, damn, wouldn't happen to me, though. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Bruce Bruce. Wouldn't happen to me, though. Like, that's crazy. It's crazy. Full on Mary, like, ah, oh, smiley face for the gram. Post a picture for the gram. Ah. Oh. She sucked my homie meat. It's crazy. Uh, watch yourself. Shake it fast. Watch yourself. Show him what you're working with. Because I'm obviously show my mans what you was working with. So it's crazy. It's really crazy out here, bro. But this song right here, Stories About My Brother, man. This is back. Conductor on the production. It just goes to show you that Drake can do anything. He's very versatile. He can do versatile. He can do literally anything. Take a shot, daddy. Say it in a different way, because that's crazy. Destroy Lonely, say it in a different way. Take a shot, Dev. Because I'm not taking a shot after you call me daddy. It's crazy. Now if I take a shot, it's crazy. Now if I take a shot, it's, it seems like I'm taking a shot, and I'm Miho at that point, and I don't want to be Miho. Take a shot, Poppy. I do Poppy. Poppy's cool. Poppy's what I call like the older Spanish dudes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gambling and saying, I'm like, hey, Poppy. Hey, Poppy, what, what's the bet, bro? You know what I'm saying? What's the bet? You know, Poppy, give you the bet. Oh, 10 pick teaser. Mucho fucking shit. Teaser right here. 10 pick teaser. He get that shit. Lock 10 pick teaser. You know, that's how he be talking and shit. The domino players. Mucho fucking shit. Oh, oh 10 pick teaser. Talk to 10 pick teaser. Mucho fucking shit. Lock. He's like, papi, papi. Lock. I promise. Tranquilo, papi. Tranquilo. Track three, shoes. If the shoe fits. It's crazy because we just talked about the shoe fitting. I don't know how anymore. I don't know how. Yo. Yeah. I've had my. Okay. Hey, he in a jazz club. Nigga, give me one of these. And then I got you, Drizzy Drake. Talk your shit. Focus on the steps that I'm taking in life. Damn. And then you got the ones who claim a god that's everyone's nigga. Leave for a month to Columbia and now. Oh, man. <laughs> man, what a. <laughs> nigga, why, nigga, why I got a stray? Why, why did I catch a stray? That's, that, I feel like it's a stray for me, nigga. Like, god damn, nigga. Like, what he said again? Nigga is not even a starting QB. That nigga on the field before the game. He just practicing throwing. What happened to selling real estate where all that shit was going? Oh, Lord, this nigga is talking. Oh, my God. Yo, I always tell you, man, City Boys versus the um, Hot Girl Summer. It's like watching Hashirama go versus Madara. It's like the Great Ninja War. I tell motherfuckers that all the time, bro. It's crazy when you think about it. It's wa from, from watching from the sidelines because I'm neutral with it. I really don't give a fuck either way. But it's literally crazy watching it from the sidelines. And I'm going to tell you right now, it is definitely a fucked up thing seeing the great ninja war going on in today's, you know, women and men. Right. It's crazy. But he's really talking right now. That goes for niggas, too. Like, it ain't just for motherfuckers like motherfuckers being there and watching Shade Room. That's why I don't like to be on the TikToks and the reels, nigga. Like, yo, you got some shit to do. I definitely love to sleep a lot. I will say that. But the one thing I do, I hate being on the internet when I don't have to. I'm on the internet now because I make money. I love y'all niggas, but I've been here for nine years. Now I love y'all niggas, plus, you know, I get to make a little paper, you know. At the same time, you know, I go to, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm gonna be straight up with y'all, you know. I like inter entertaining, but I can't be doing it for nine years for no reason, you know what I'm saying? I love it. But it's crazy when you think about it. I hate being on the internet because you get caught up in that internet life. And internet life is not real life. I always say, man, you got to be a fucking psychotic psycho to be an influencer in a sense. 
Like, right now, I'm talking to a camera, right? But in reality, I'm talking to 545 people right now. But I'm in my room by myself talking to myself, essentially. People be on TikTok posting for their stories, posting on their gram for one motherfucker. But they be acting like they Cristiano Ronaldo or Ariana Grande posting for the millions. Isn't that a sick mindset when you think about it? Like, you be like, oh, shit, chilling in Tampa or chilling in Nashville, doing my thing. I'm killing it, bitch. Or, hey, just, you know, I'm just gang, gang, getting this money, nigga. You talking to two people. Isn't that a sick mindset if you think about it? <laughs> like, that's sick as hell when you really think about it. That's why when I'm out on vacation, I like to just have fun. I like to, you know, like I, I know I got my cult. I got, yeah, my, I got my following. Like, cool. But I'm enjoying my time. It's crazy when you think about it. And I'm, I'm not saying I'm not a psycho because I am a psycho because I am talking to this cup right now. That's That means 4,545 people. To me, all y'all look like Lizzo. For, for who knows? All y'all look like Lizzo. But it's crazy to think about I'm in this room talking to this camera. And all y'all look like Lizzo in my head. Because that's what I imagine, y'all. Face if you happen to know him. Domestic abuse. That man is not a man for you. He's a pathetic excuse. Lying my city fucking on bitches. If they even mention me and show them me love, then it's finished. Jealous ass niggas. Oh, see? Y'all be asking me, like, yo, y'all be keep playing around. I'm like, yo, you be ever having a conversation with your friends? Be like, hey, man, I won't cheat on my girl, but I'll let my... But if it Rihanna came around, I'll fuck my girl. Just like your girl be like, look, I won't cheat on my man. But if this person should come around, like Michael B. Jordan, then I'm going to fuck Michael B. Jordan. I'm going to tell you, all you're saying is a certain man of status can allow you to cheat. And with social media and DMs existing, you one Chris Brown DM away from getting your bitch took. And I hate to see my subscribers be some sad niggas. Because Drake probably will fuck your girl out of spite. I ain't gonna lie. It's a, it's a dangerous, sad world out here, bro. You always gotta be ten toes down and back against the wall, nigga. Because you gotta keep your eyes open. It, it's crazy, bro. Like, it is a crazy world. This nigga will smash your girl and give her back to you and have no remorse. And you're going to be like that one nigga like, Stop fucking chilling with her! Stop fucking chilling with her, please! Why are you chilling with her, Dan? You're going to be like that one nigga. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. Why are you fucking chilling with her, Dan? <laughs> I'm, telling, I'm telling you. You're going to be that nigga. <laughs> Stop fucking chilling with her, Dan! <laughs> nigga was going crazy. <laughs> Oh my god. You on the gram, click the link tree and see you sucking dick on cam. What the fuck? Oh my god, I felt that. I'm not even on Drake level and I felt that. Like how you talking all this shit and you sucking mad dick? I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, if you're going to be a whore, man and woman, because it's 2023 diversity. Oh, I got bars today, nigga. God damn. I got bars today. But if you're going to be diverse... At least own up to your whoreness. Accept your whoreness. Be a full-fledged whore if that's the life that you live. But don't be acting like, I'm going to be a whore on Monday. But then Tuesday, I'm going to be angelic. And then on Wednesday and Thursday, I'm back to being a whore. And then be like, I can't fuck with you. You're not up to my standards. But you're a whore. Guys and girls. 
I would never guess that you niggas is this crazy. She took dick in a visa, you turn into Dick Tracy. She took dick in a visa, and now you Dick Tracy. If I had the, you know what? Now I gotta search that shit. Now you Dick Tracy. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't. Even, it scares me. Fear. First of all, you're supposed to live life fearless, right? That's the one thing they teach you. But experience is something that you gotta go through, not something that is taught. And I'm telling you, when you experience some shit like that, I don't know how you can bounce back from that. Listen, I know I be yapping. I know I be waffling, as the motherfucking UK people would say. Shout out to my UK things out there. One girl's in nursing school. She's doing her thing. Shout out to you, girl. You know what I'm talking about. CH. Don't gotta finish the name, but you know who you are. Do your thing out there, girl. But I got to tell you like this, man. It's crazy. Like, when you go through some shit like that, how do you bounce back? Because I know a lot of Dick Tracy ass niggas. Shit, I ain't even going to lie. I was a Dick Tracy ass nigga. First step in life, admit acceptance. I was a Dick Tracy ass nigga. It's so crazy because I don't know if I could go through that ever again. And you're supposed to live life fearless. But it's scary hours. And a nigga is scared. My boy Johnny in here, man. Shout out to Zake, man. LLZ. But it's crazy when you think about it. I don't ever want to be Dick Tracy again. It wasn't a fun time. I don't want to be Dick Tracy. So you suck that nigga dick in Ibiza? So you suck that nigga dick in Ibiza? Stop playing with me, girl! Did you suck that nigga dick in Ibiza? What you was doing in Ibiza? Give me your phone. Girl, give me your phone. You know what? I can't do this no more. I'm out. <laughs> I pray nobody has to go through that. That's crazy. I was young. Y'all got to remember, I'm old. Uncle Dev. I'm Uncle Dev at this point. All right. Unk, as y'all like to call me, I'm old as hell. I don't ever want to feel like that because it might be over. Shit like that, you don't come back from. Again, <laughs> detective is crazy. <laughs> detective is crazy. Instead, she got an NBA fan that's two can. She looking for high ground, hate me and tied down. She and she got an NBA fan who's two can. I can't talk because I play World of Warcraft. But a lot of y'all niggas, he is directly talking to y'all niggas. Y'all be in the park all day, and I don't mean that literally. Y'all be in the park all day. <laughs> Y'all spending fake tats on VC because you don't want to get real tats. Point to the guy that she talking about and it's James Harden. Damn, dog. Lost show. Yeah. I got to just, you know, my girl, you know, the girl I'm talking to, she don't really be on the gram like that. She really not a, you know, gram type of girl. I'm a, this is my advice to y'all, bro. Just don't get with somebody that be on a gram like that, bro. Like, <laughs> if your girl love if if a girl loves it, first of all, let me tell you, if your girl got seven bikini pics and she live in Michigan, X her out. If your girl smile at every compliment she get, X her out. If your girl has ever talked to any athlete from college up, X her out. Trust me, as bad as she is, it's always going to be another bad bitch. It's 8 billion people in the world you got to choose from. Because I'm going to tell you right now, it ain't going to end well. You got to let that shit go. Get you a regular ass, cute, fine bitch. 
a regular DTE. DTE, if you know what that means, you're a real one. That means down to earth. Because that this whole internet facade thing and being cool on the internet and getting this fake attention, fulfillment from the internet, it's not the vibe. Run away. Run fast. I feel like John Wick. Empty clips. Yeah. Fun fact. I've never seen John Wick. Should I watch it? Sabbatical in Miami, the shit was holistic. And I remember niggas was joking about some tick tick. And now that rapper becoming a threat. Black America love to remind me what my mama looked like. As if I'd ever fuck it. They gon' have to talk to Ouija boys like he be Jeevian. Like the large was too big for you, you'll need a medium. This B, I'm just not really feeling the song. This is probably the first song that I'm really not really feeling. Donkey Kong Water, Low Ass B. I love that stage. I know exactly what you're talking about. Track five, Evil Ways featuring Cole. Shout out to Cole, man. They're going on a tour, man. Obviously, Cole doesn't need a really a Drake tag or anything, but you know, Cole, man. It's it's it, the the big three, obviously. Kendrick, Cole, Drake. They've been talking about it forever, and for Cole and Drake to now be on a tour together, that's gonna be an amazing ass set. I feel like, man, you can't really get mad about that, man. Drake just doing his thing too, you know. Like. Yeah. I do hate that though. Uh, one thing I will say that I hate about the album, this this scary hour so far, is the fact that Drake gave in though. Like, as much as this is still fire, it took a lot of people to 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 basically beg him, talk shit about him, and all that shit to give a straight because this has been straight nothing but raps. And this is the one thing that I will say that I did not like because it forced his hand. And usually everything is on Drake timing. You feel me? Like even through the glasses, you can see the gaze. To find your way up to the top, the shit gonna be a maze. Volkswagen. The way you see up top is really a oh my god. That's insane. That's a fireball already. Need a K. Nah. I only need a raise. And a safe to stash these Frito Lays. Times is hard. I watch my mama rock. You niggas ain't getting no bread. You in a keto phase. Wisdom coming out my mouth. You like say so y'all niggas ain't getting no bread. You in the keto phase, man. No carb. <laughs> they nose bleeding like the seats where you can't see the stage. High up in arenas where they see they faves. AKA me and Drizzy Drake. Hey, boy. I ain't gonna lie, dog. That nigga got some. Yo, P. Diddy's son got some crazy waves. <laughs> like, no cap. That nigga wave game is stupid, bro. I'm like, yo, did you just wear the Dewey at all times? Like, I just don't get it, nigga. Like, <laughs> that shit is crazy. If you ever seen this nigga's waves, dog, like, it's crazy, bro. That line is actually crazy. Drake pulled a white bitch that's going both ways. She like the queen of spades. I'm starting to think they perks is fake. They weed is lace. For thinking it's a game. If it's a game, he's straight. Ah, cold. Y'all should be oh. afraid. It's always gonna be nothing but about that soulful samples they put in them beats like that when you know you rap over them soulful samples that's always gonna hit different but i just like how cole was more supportive on this track you know especially on that last verse right there um you know got more hitters like you and uh like they play for the braves um what was the other line he said right here right here it was right here y'all should be afraid yeah. Braves, young angel going through his demon phase. Young angel going through his demon phase. I don't blame him. You know, like, I mean, I get it. Cause, cause, cause. Hard to blame him. Lord knows this game can be depraved. Scary hours undefeated. Y'all should be afraid. Y'all should be afraid. Scary hours. It definitely is a scary ass time, too. Not, a, not only in rap, just in the world alone. Economics, po politics. Obviously, you see what's going around on the other side of the world right now, but. It's just a scary ass time, man. Like it's really a scary ass time, and and you see that. So, saying the game made Drake a demon, like it's just crazy. Like when you think about, it. but I love the way that J Cole was more supportive on this track rather than coming, you know, hard. He still was coming hard with bars, but I like Drake too. Drake, it was a cool ass track. Again, again, what the people wanted, but I felt like it was forced by hand. You feel me? Notepad caught many bodies. Screenshots solved plenty problems. Voice notes bag plenty hotties. Can't just talk to me like anybody. Can't it's a real question. Y'all are y'all voice note users? Cause I've never used voice note in my life. Like I always I usually tell Siri to send a message, but I've never been like, yeah, man, you know, like I just really wanted to get to know you type shit. Like, and I just really thought your voice was cute. Heart, you broke my heart. 
sounds like a uh, part two of um, is it you all right? The little dirt song. What is that shit called? Freaky nigga, like I sing with Pretty Ricky. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Got to add lips from Smiggy nigga. I just got smiley flash, man. I instantly, yeah, oh, no. please, please, no, no. Wanna smoke with me first? Well, this one gon' yeah. This one gon' get over the line where he said, "I'm like pretty Ricky on the freaky dicky," and then you hear smiley go, "Yeah, yeah." <laughs> Like what the fuck to the song? I can't even listen to the song no more. I can't. I, I can't even listen to it right no more. Y'all fucked it up. Y'all really fucked the song up for me, bro. Like I really cannot listen to the song no more. That's crazy. If you really think about it, they really made money for fun, gay. Like how? <laughs> how did they do that? It was an ad lib, just money for fun. <laughs> He didn't even say anything crazy. He just said money for fun. And they made that shit. Sucio for a whole week. Oh my God. Thought you would have shown a little grace. How can I expect someone who never had their own place to know their damn place? That beat is insane, man. Shout out to whoever did that beat, though. Yeah. It's not even pretty Ricky. <laughs> it's Smiley. <laughs> It ain't even pretty Ricky. <laughs> Singing like I'm pretty Ricky. Yeah. <laughs> and that's like saying, yeah, I look like Janet Jackson, you know, thick. <laughs> yeah, ooh, you know, nice lives. Yeah. <laughs> Janet Jackson. <laughs> oh my God. Man, get the fuck out of here, bro. Oh, I'm like, dead, man. Anyways, man, freaky hours. I mean, did I say freaky hours? Fuck. Scary hours. Scary hours is definitely um, catered to more of the people that wanted the uh, the boom bap rap side, the very strictly 35, 37-year-old Drake to talk about some shit with substance. For him to actually have a backbone, as, as some people were saying on the internet, for him to actually, you know, rap about something to have uh, a little bit of motivation. I feel like this is what the people wanted. They wanted the rap side of Drake. Personally, I felt like it was forced uh, towards the end because I did feel like, you know, he's only doing this out of spite of what people said. And Drake is Drake. He doesn't really have to listen to what the haters said. So I was kind of surprised that he released a strictly... Um, you know kind of rap album but scary hours have has always to be fair scary hours has always been a rap side of drake so you know let's not get that confused scary hours one two it's always been the same uh the track red button is crazy i still think the crazy track that is on here um there's always one track on a scary hours that literally hits different and i feel like that's the shoe fits the shoe fits was very personal in it, in it, in it and it was talking about a lot of shit that goes on not only at the rich level but also at the bottom level as well you know that 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 goes on in whatever tier bracket you're in it, it that goes on every day you know there's eight billion people in the world i guarantee that song resonated with about 75 percent of the world i'm not gonna lie to you so it's just crazy man we are in the internet ass world we are in a world that is 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 driven by um anonymous validation I think that's the best way to say it and i think that psychologically that's just how we're all programmed well not all of us i would say more of the newer generation is programmed i mean it is what it is even ogs is, shit my dad be on youtube shit you know it just you get with the times and that's what happens so um it is a scary hours but at the same time it's a business move so it is a deluxe tool for all the dogs and um i just think that this is cool it's cool uh my favorite tracks on here obviously evil ways the shoe fits red button i love stories about my brother too man there was not a, really a bad track on here other than um wicked man was the one that i was kind of just like uh but other than that it was pretty cool i know it was an hour listen i didn't really expect it to be that long but i had a lot of stories and that alcohol was starting to hit me so that's why i was talking about it but 
to be fair, I, if I had to give it a rating for his listen, I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10 straight up. It was an 8 out of 10. Not, not, I think the raps for me, too, like, I, I didn't really get that Drake, like, damn. More so, it was more of the impact of what he was talking about, not how he was rapping it. You know, like, what exactly he was talking about was, like, damn. Like, he really said that shit? The red button, the shoe fits, um, you know, tracks like that. Those tracks were really kind of eye-opening for me. Like, damn, like, like shit you listen to this track and you're gonna feel some type of way type shit you know when you listen to a track and then you feel some type of way you know you kind of just listen to it like damn like i really like shh. i mean he right but fuck like i can't really blare that shit like it's kind of like blaring the shit like i'm a hoe i'm a motherfucking hoe i motherfucking go crazy on these hoes i'm a hoe like you can't really be blasting that shit when you listen to it like damn i'm really a hoe like you just, it's like damn when you really think about it because the shoe fits right so, that's how I feel about that, man. So, that being said, get a comment below. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to follow my social media here. It will be on Patreon if I don't release this full version on YouTube. But it will be on Patreon. Until the next time, it's your boy Dev. Don't forget to like, comment, all that good stuff. Um, you're out.